up y'all welcome back to another video my name is miles with holiday world out of dallas texas and today we are taking a look at this keystone bullet 291 rls 291 rls when i was thinking about living in a travel trailer for a period of time this is one of my top contenders here so i'm pretty excited to take a look at this one with you but i want to get your thoughts it is saturday and on saturdays it gets very busy around here very quick i'm here pretty early making sure i get some videos done before the traffic of people coming into the store starts to pick up and things like that so this is going to be a much quicker walkthrough than i typically do and i'm thinking about starting a whole new channel that is just quick walkthroughs that are around five to ten minutes instead of my normal 20 to 40 minutes or so now i've always enjoyed doing the more long form walkthroughs that go very in depth, show every aspect of the trailer from all the way underneath, all the way up onto the roof and trying to get into as much details about construction and different features, things like that as possible. That's what I enjoy doing. So that will always be something that I will do. But I'm curious if y'all would find value and appreciate maybe another channel where there's separate content that is just quicker walkthroughs that don't take as long to go through that are just more showing the floor plan and the design and the colors and things like that and not getting so much into the nitty gritty details. So let me know if that's something that y'all would appreciate and something that I should start to have just an alternate source of RV content out there that is not so long form like what most of my videos have been up to this point. So that's what this video is gonna be here and tell me what you think. All right, so this is a 2022 Keystone Bullet 291 RLS. You'll be able to see the specs here on the screen and the floor plan. This here is going to be a more lightweight bumper pull travel trailer for the size that it's at as far as length goes. You can see here it's only 6,200 pounds or so, 6,300 pounds dry weight. So pretty lightweight. We'll open this up and you'll be able to see underneath here, you do have an enclosed water area, something that is not always common in RVs at this price point. Really big storage compartment underneath here. We'll look at that from the other side as well. And your solar charge controller for your solar panel monitor monitoring charge going to the batteries. You can see here you have a cable driven slide out box. You're going to have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof full fiberglass front cap and this is going to be bullets middle tier model you can see here they have the bullet crossfire as well which is going to be a smaller profile bullet and then they have the bullet premiere over here which is going to be a bigger bullet with a little bit bigger frame and slightly more features so this one sits right in the middle of bullets lineup great thing about keystone is they've been around for so long that they just make so many different models of rvs so there's something out there for everybody Nice latches here that lock in place so that stays up. Really big storage compartment, aluminum framing underneath here. Nice little laundry chute type um, access there and we'll see that from inside. But really, really wide. Bullet makes the widest storage compartment out of all of the RVs that we carry here in the travel trailer. So you have dual entrance on the outside, really big awning covering about uh, a little, pretty much like two thirds of the outside of the RV. Outside speakers, have your LED light underneath the awning here so that you get access to that. Whether the awning is in or out, you can still see that light there. And that will light up this whole space underneath here. Really good change that they made this year too is giving the Bullet brand Goodyear tires. So you have the Goodyear Endurance American Made tires. This is a change that they made for 2022. Coming around to the back side, you see you have really nice big window here on the back wall that is tinted have a solid step coming into the RV and you will have backup camera prep so you can't install a backup camera have a bumper with the spare tire on the back slide out box again and then underneath here fully enclosed underbelly so all your water tanks and water lines are sitting in that enclosed underbelly above the insulation so whenever you are running the furnace that they will be staying nice and warm and not freezing on you let's go inside so as we come up to the door here, this is gonna be your main entrance into your living room area. As soon as you walk in, you have these two uh, recliners right here. These are freestanding recliners, so these can be moved around however you see best fit. What I really like is they are actually far enough back on this wall that you can close this slide out without having to turn these to the side. On a lot of models like this, you actually have to turn these with the back facing that wall to make this slide out close. Not the case on this one, so very easy packing up when you're leaving. Big windows all the way around. This is a pretty common travel trailer floor plan, although I've seen a lot of them where they put the TV back on this wall, 
way far away from where your recliners are over here. It makes no sense. So I really like that the TV is right here. This can swivel out so you can see it from your recliners over here. Have a pop-up outlet right between the two recliners. Again, big windows, storage cabinets all the way around. And you have the barreled ceiling here, giving you a nice ceiling height. It's about 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six in here for comfortable standing. Pull-out sofa and a legless dinette table here. Have drawers that'll open to get underneath your cushions there for storage. In your kitchen, see all your storage areas around here. You will have a three burner cooktop oven that opens up. Nice big storage compartment that looks like underneath here. Oh, okay, there's actually some electrical components behind it. And then four pull out drawers. Those will all be the same size. And nice big shelving underneath here all the way to the sidewall. Black faucet looks really good. Uh, me and my fiance just bought a house and this faucet looks 10 times better than the one that we got in our brand new house. So um, RVs already coming better with uh, uh, appliances than what my uh, house came with. Stainless steel sink also looks better than the sink that we just got in our new house. So kind of funny there how RVs come with better or better looking equipment than what my house came with. And MSRP on this RV here is going to be 53000 and $21. Now this is going to sell way below the MSRP price. It's going to sell somewhere in the $40,000 range. So if you are interested in this RV, contact me at the number on the screen here. It's my job to get you the best price on this RV that we possibly can and get you a good deal. So text me that number on the screen there and I'll do everything I can to help you make this RV yours or set up a time for you to come see it in person. Really like that you have a 10, 10 might be even 11 cubic foot refrigerator here. Really big refrigerator, runs off the 12 volt system. The solar panel on the roof is going to help keep your batteries charged so that this is always operating. And then what I really like is when you come into this bathroom here, it is a wall to wall bathroom. Now, some people don't like this, but I absolutely love it. It gives you such a huge space in here. Look at all the storage you get with this being a wall to wall bathroom. These will open up really deep storage compartments all through there so that can be like a um, wardrobe space if you need extra wardrobe storage storage underneath here and then four more drawers that pull out next to your shower you're going to have additional storage in here so so much storage in this bathroom with it being a full wall to wall bathroom have the bubble in the shower it's going to have a nice cloth feeling um shower screen door i guess you call it here although it will be more of a plastic material on the back end so the water will run right off of it that keeps the weight down keeps it nice and lightweight and you have a there you go get that to close properly have a dometic porcelain toilet so nice good quality toilet here and then going into the bedroom you have a queen size bed so nice long bed storage all the way around. Second AC in here, very important in Texas, making sure that you have the second AC. Two pull out drawers here. Bullet does a really good job with bedside storage. So you have the two pull out drawers and you have all of this extra, uh, all of this extra wardrobe storage for hanging space, storage all the way across. And then I really like how Bullet does the two tier bedside nightstands here very unique to bullet don't see a whole lot of brands doing that plus you have more wardrobe storage in addition to everything we saw in the bathroom right here another closet with shelves you could take out and a clothing rack and another spot down underneath here as well second entrance so this is allowed or this is put here mostly so that you can get to the bathroom when your slides are closed because if you open up this door here you can see this slide out is all going to come in here which is going to block this entry into the bathroom however you can still get to the bathroom from this door with your slide outs closed no problem and i almost forgot to look at this part here like i was saying this goes down into your pass-through storage compartment here the most common use i hear for this is people put a laundry basket underneath there or something like that um, really nice so it's framed out nice hinges on the finish and everything and then you do have a sliding pocket door going into the bedroom and you will have a spot 
on the wall here to mount a TV if you want a TV in the bedroom as well. Plus you have a spot for a Wi-Fi router so you can install a Wi-Fi router as well. And overall, I think this just feels very spacious and comfortable for whatever camping you may want to do. A lot of good space in here, really usable space, windows all the way around for a great view of your campsite. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you are interested in this RV, you can text me at the number on the screen. I would love to get you the purchasing information you need to make this RV yours or schedule a time for you to come take a look at it in person. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out here.